good morning ladies and gents welcome back um so you join me at 20 past five in the morning about to start my shift so i thought i'd take you along for the ride today uh bit of a day in the life on an early shift so i'll see you when i get my bus take care hello ladies and gents i just got my bus and i'm about to do my bcr checks so i thought i'd show you probably one of the most annoying sounds you'll ever hear it's pretty loud, so headphone user warning in three, two, one. There you go. It's a little snippet for you. But I'll, I've got to run dead to peg, I'll show my G card in a minute. But I'm going to do my BCR check and I'll catch you in a little while. Right, so I finished my uh, BCR check, but this is my duty card. So it's 5510, signed on at 534 this morning, signed off at half past two. So we run dead to Peckham. Then Peckham to Thamesmead, and then Thamesmead to Peckham. Now this would normally be a school bus, dedicated school bus, but because the kids are still on holiday, obviously we don't have to worry about that. Uh, and then we go from Peckham to the garage, come off for our relief. Then we go Plumstead to Thamesmead, Thamesmead to Peckham, and then Peckham to the garage. That's a little wide shot for you there, guys. But yeah, so I'm going to head out to uh, Peckham now, and I'll catch you at the other end. Welcome back. So I just got to Peckham and it's freezing on the bus. You probably see, I don't know if you can see that, but that was, uh, you know, some, uh, some smoke coming out of, of my lungs. Um, but yeah, so I just got to Peckham, got about 10 minutes before I'm due back out. I'm due back out at 6.23, I've got 6.13, so not too bad. See, traffic's light, um, my leader's just left, so all running to plan. Yeah, it was a bit of a nightmare getting my bus this morning. Um, it was originally meant to be in the car park, um, but I went to the uh, regulator and he was like, no, we've had to move it because um, the bus in front of you, like that was parked in front of you, broke down. So obviously we had to move you out of the way. Um, so obviously I was on the forecourt, so I spent about five minutes trying to find it. It's really annoying, but hey-ho, is what it is. Um, but we got our bus, uh, did, did my checks, all goods, bus is all goods. A lot of emissions are coming out of the, uh, the bus when I'm going up hills, but... I mean, it's a big vehicle, it's got to like, you know, really work. Plus it's really cold, so obviously it's not really optimal. But it's white smoke, so it's nothing serious. And if it was serious, the cab would be going, smoke detected. That's really loud, by the way. I've had, I've had that happen to me once. Um, the brake pads on the rear wheels uh, were smoking. So my assumption is they were overheated. They were very overheated. So like, it got to a point where it's smoke detected. I was like, what the hell's that? So obviously I saw smoke coming from the back. I was like, oh God, don't tell me like the bus is about to like blow up. You know, but I gave it like a minute and it stops. But then I got to New Cross uh, Marcus Agambi and it kept going off. So I was like, nah, okay, got to stop. And there was smoke coming out of it. So obviously I called the controller and was like, I've got, I think my rear brake pads have overheated. Like I'm getting audible warnings in the cab saying there's smoke detected. Um, so obviously I'm stuck, I can't go anywhere. And he's like, yeah, just, get your passengers off you know and just wait for an engineer so but you know bus is all good unfortunately I got a Volvo this morning um, but I hope I haven't deafened all of you with uh, that um, assault alarm <laughs> that's part of the checks you know we've got to check the assault alarm works definitely works you know it's a de I'm, I'm debating if, it, if that's worse or if screaming kids are worse because they're just as loud as each other really um, but yeah <laughs> But not too bad of a morning, because like, it, like, it's a Friday service, I'm doing the same duties on a Monday to Thursday service, but I finish, um, I used to, I would normally finish at 37, 2.37, but today I'm finishing at 2.23, so not too bad. Um, but the morning is the same, I come off at the exact same time, it's just the second half is different. Normally on a Monday to Thursday with this duty, you'd start at Plumstead Station, go to Peckham, and then do Peckham to Thamesmead, Thamesmead to Plumstead Station, come off. But today, because it's Friday, I do Plumstead to Thamesmead, Thamesmead to Peckham, Peckham to um, the garage. So it's a little bit different. And I've I've openly said I don't like doing Peckham to uh, the garage because it's a lot harder to keep to your uh, timetable um, to make sure that you get there roughly for when you should be because you know what drivers are like, they don't want to get there early. To be fair, I, I used to get there 10 minutes before 
um, they're due to arrive, but now I've kind of cut it down to five minutes. Uh, six, six, eighteen, so not too long now. Then we can get started, get the day started. I don't mind this duty, this duty's been alright. Uh, yeah, normally, um, the trip after this, so the second trip I do, I'd normally be a school, a designated school bus. Uh, obviously still do the 177, but you know, you put the school uh, school service sign in the window, but because the kids are on holiday, I ain't got to worry about that. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I know I haven't posted in a few days, so I do apologise, I kind of just wanted to take a couple of days off. Kind of burnt out, you know, I didn't really have any ideas of what I wanted to. I mean, I've got ideas, it's just, if I could be bothered to make the videos, I'll be honest, you know. Like, you're doing this job, and then I've got this job where I'm making videos, so it's like, it's about trying to balance, you know, happiness, um, and tiredness, you know, that kind of thing. But I thought I'd make this, like, a little day in the life. I mean, it's not going to be, like, interesting unless something interesting happens, but you get the gist, you come in, you sign on, you get your duty card, you fill out your duty log card, you you look on, like, a little, you look, you look on a big piece of paper, Find out what your uh, where your running number is, uh, what the fleet number of the bus is, and then find where it is in the garage. Go find it. Do your BCR check. Get set up. Go to your starting point. Start your day. Literally like what a morning shift is like on you know any route. Uh, Six twenty. All right, so I've got three minutes, so I'm just going to sign off here, and I'll see you at Tim's meet. Take care. Welcome back ladies and gents, just completed my first trip to um, Thamesmead, so it's about half seven now, so making pretty good time, um, did lose a little bit in Greenwich but that's always going to be expected because it's Greenwich and it's annoying, um, so now is the trip I'd technically be a designated school bus, so obviously because again because the kids aren't here you know, I ain't got to worry about that. So it's not too bad. Must admit, I'm struggling to get used to the brakes on this one. They're quite hard. So like, you don't feel like you're getting a lot out of it. Which is a little bit annoying, but it's what it is. Um, but yeah, so let me have a look at my duty card once more, because I've forgotten already. Uh, let's have a look. So yeah, so we do this run to Peckham and then Peckham Back to the garage, come off for my meal relief, and then second half is Plumstead to Thamesmead, Thamesmead to Peckham, Peckham to the garage. So, not the worst, it's not the worst, but you know, it's the same as what I've been doing all week, so can't really complain. But after today, we only have about three days, so, Mon yeah, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then off uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. In Thursday, Friday, and then a whole other, on holiday for 10 days. But I've got a couple of days in uh, Lou or Leo, or however you want to say it. So I might see if I can use them uh, to get Thursday, Friday off. Because then I'm off Because then I'm off uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then, then, you know, so it's basically two weeks off. If I could pull that off, that'd be great. You know, that would be really great if I could do that. Um, so hopefully, we never know. Um, but yeah, that's all I've really got to talk about. Oh no, actually, I've got something to talk about. Green Road. I did get number one. I've been number one uh, for six days in a row now. This would be seven days today if I can pull it off. If I don't have any, uh, you know, unfortunate incidents. But I've said this before, but being a bus driver, it does mature you as a driver. It kind of, it's, it, it gives you good discipline. You know, it gives you really good discipline. About four minutes, so I'll have to wrap this up quick. Uh, but yeah, it gives you really good discipline, you know, and um, teaches you to just slow down. But there's two sides to Green Road, you know, that's the good side of it. The bad side is it, it makes you stressed, you know, it makes you constantly think about, you know, like, oh, did that flash and all that stuff. But I've been number one for six days now, I have like 140 drivers, which is still pretty insane. You know, I'm pretty. Uh, I'm, it definitely, it definitely um, doesn't help your ego in the sense of you know to tone it down. It really does big up your ego, but eh. yeah. 
Um, but yeah, I haven't heard anything about the accident, um, when my hearing is, um, nothing about that yet. They normally take a while for them to, you know, get their act together and uh, get a meeting set up. Um, it's just the way it is, you know, like, you got to think this, like, they've got to go through hundreds of, like, incidents, you know, so it takes a while to get to you. But there you go. But yeah, I'm going to sign off here. I've got about a couple of minutes, so, um, I'll see you at Peckham. Take care. Welcome back ladies and gents, join me at Peckham once again and that was not too bad actually that trip, it was a little bit busy um, in Greenwich as usual but to be fair I still got here early, you know I got here about five minutes early so to be fair I'd say it's a, it's a uh, good success, you know I, I saw one uh, 177 Terminator at the garage so he must have had a rough time with it. But I, I didn't get the worst of it, so I kind of got the aftermath of it, which is not too bad, you know. I'll tell you that, we got the sassy controllers today. You know, he must have, like, broadcast three times that this is a headway service. Like, we get it. We know what we're doing, you know. But, yeah, admittedly, some drivers do just abuse it. You know, they don't follow it. Like, me, I'm pretty good, you know. But, obviously, I can't help it if, like, I'm at one bus stop you know one bus stop i'm at perfect headway then then when i get to the next bus stop it's like shot up you know like two markers i can't control that you know like i can't see the full picture you know like there's nothing i can do like if i you know one but i got to pumps station i was perfect yeah then i get to woolwich and i'm like two bars to the like to the right so i'm getting really close to the driver in front and i got to the lights just before um the stop at woolwich uh, town center and he gave me a ring it was like you know, it appears you're not checking your headway, and like, you know, like, what have I said? And I said to him, I've noticed it, mate. You know, I know, I know. Like, it's just it's shut up at the last bus stop. You know, I'm planning to stop at um at the next bus stop and correct it. And he's like, oh, you know about it. Well, as long as you know about it. And he hung up. And I'm like, yeah, go away. Like, I know what I'm doing. I'm not. I don't neglect the system. Yeah. You know, I always try and adhere to the rules as much as I can. Sometimes though, you because you can only stop a certain amount of times, you know, you can't keep stopping every bus stop, you know, to correct headway. Sometimes you have to kind of, you know, you know, let it play out. I don't know if that's if that's the right wording, but like you get what I mean. Like sometimes you just have to like, you know, especially if you get to New Cross, for example, you know, you're basically at Peckham at that point. So no point really worrying about the headway. But, you know, but you get some sassy controls that I've got today being like, no, you have to stick to the headway. And I'm like, yeah, but come on. I'm at New Cross Gate. Like, you know, I'm at the garage. I'm at New Cross Bus Garage. Like, I'm basically there. Like, get over it, you know. But, you know, that, that's part of the job. But I definitely, I, I, I excuse me. <laughs> but I definitely annoyed him. The fact that he hung up, I know he's annoyed, you know. It's because I, I, I was quite sassy to him back. I was like, I know about it. I'm correcting the next bus stop. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> as long as you know about it. And he, and he hangs up. You know, it's like... I get it. You know, you get you do get a lot of drivers who just don't give a crap about the system and obeying the system. You know, they, they just want to run to their own timetable. I get it. You know, I get when you've got those kind of drivers, yeah, they can make you pretty annoyed. But at the end of the day... Go through the procedure of reporting them to the garage, and then the garage will discipline them, and they won't do it again. Just go through the procedure. Don't like you know. Don't you know take out on everyone? Like yeah, I got a bit close, you know. And yeah, I did kind of, like it's hard to like because obviously I don't stop at every bus stop. If there's no one there, I'm not stopping, you know, to check the headway. Like you know, I, I I do tend to check it while I'm driving, which is obviously very dangerous. So don't if you're a bus driver, don't do that. Um, but you know, just it's just like I glance at it, and you know, if I'm okay, I'll keep going. But most of the time, I'm all right, you know. But I can't help it, you know. We we all can't help it, you know. Just part of it's just is what it is, you know. But you know, can't complain. It's going smoothly so far, apart from the controller giving me sass, and I gave him sass back and basically told him to f off, really. Obviously, I didn't actually say that. So, if you if you are a bus driver or wanted to become a bus driver, don't think saying "f off" to the controller is a good idea because it is recorded and you will be um, heavily disciplined for that. So, don't do it. Obviously, I didn't, but you know, in 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 just clear terms, basically told him 
in a posh way to f off and leave me alone you know but yeah but yeah so i'm gonna i've got about 20 minutes uh so i'm just gonna kind of sign off here just to kind of enjoy relaxing um but next trip i come off uh the garage for my meal relief so i'll do a quick like you know vlog then see how the trip went you know that kind of thing but yeah so i'll catch you then see you later oh well, welcome back ladies and gents so i'm just on my uh, meal break now i'm back out at 10 past 11 so i've got about just under half hour left of my break and then i'll get going i like to get there a little bit early but yeah that trip was interesting um had a bit of an altercation with a 386 driver uh, purely because of where he parked at the stand it made it quite dangerous because if you know Woolwich uh, you've got the Sainsbury so obviously we turn left onto Castile Road then turn right at the mini roundabout by the car park then left at the next roundabout and you, you've got the bus stop by the Sainsbury's and then if you go further down you've got the bend with the island and then the bus stand on the corner so obviously he was parked right on the end and it's tight you know, I had to obviously clip the curb a little bit just to make sure I didn't hit him. Do you know what I mean? And I gave him a little bit of like, oh, why? You know, kind of thing. And he honked his horn being, you know, like obviously saying something rude. But I just think there's so many places to park. Admittedly, if, there were, if the learner bus wasn't in front, he would have moved forward, obviously. But it's just, you know, I honestly think they should make that stand shorter. So we have more room to get round the bend, you know. It's just... I mean, admittedly, you can get... Obviously, I've got past it. Admittedly, it does come down to positioning. But, in my opinion, if it wasn't... If the stand wasn't that long and, like, you know, ended where it where it does, there wouldn't have... There would, that altercation wouldn't have happened, you know. So, it's just a bit of a... Oh, well. I mean, I didn't hit him, so no harm done, really. You know. Like, I'm sure I'm sure the curb will be alright <laughs> do you know what I mean because that's the thing you have to prioritise would you rather hit the curb or would you rather hit uh, a vehicle I'd rather hit the curb you know no one got hurt so you know apart from the curb <laughs> but yeah so I've got uh, Plumstead to Thamesmead Thamesmead to Peckham Peckham to the garage and then home time and then tomorrow I'm in at later I'm in at quarter past six um yeah, quarter past six. Yeah, so it's not too bad. But Sunday, I'm I'm on a really early one. Sunday, I start um, twenty past four, finish about one o'clock. So at least I get most of my Sunday, and then you got Monday, and then I'm off. But yeah, I've got a couple of days in Lou or Liao, whatever you want to say it. So I'm gonna probably at the end of the day today, I'm gonna try and see if I can get um to be able to use some of them, because obviously I'm working um what was it thursday friday so if i can if i can get those two days off i'm off for 14 days which would be nice a nice long break hopefully i can but they might go it's not enough notice so who knows um but yeah apart from that little incident it was a right trip you know fairly quiet you know the roads have quieted down a little bit when you know so yeah normal normal stuff but yeah so i'll leave it there and i'll probably talk to you when i get to thamesmead so take care guys uh, ladies and gentlemen, join me back at Thamesmead. Same old, really. You know, I've got my new bus, another Volvo, unfortunately. So I'm not too thrilled. Um, same same old, really. You know, nothing really happened. I mean, I only had, like, one incident. It was, like, a mouthy woman. Um, so it was the bus stop by the police station, obviously going towards Thamesmead. There was a 96 in front of me. And he was serving it and letting people off. So I pulled him behind it because I saw his doors were closing. And I had this, I heard this like scream of this woman going, "Let me off the bus! Let me off! Open your doors!" And I'm like, "Just be patient. Like, the bus is leaving. Like, give it a second. You know, like even like she was with her kid. Even her kid was like, you know, started crying because she was scared of her tone. And I was, I was honestly thinking about just turning around and going, like, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Did you say something?" I honestly thought of doing that, like, just to annoy her, because I'm just like, don't talk to me like that. Like, let me do my job, yeah? And then, you know, no one's complaining. 
you know, it's like, don't, don't scream at me like that. Like, because if anything, screaming at someone is going to, like, make them refuse to do something. You want them to open the doors. I ain't going to do that if you're going to talk to me like that. Not until you calm down. You know, it's like, especially in front of your kid. I don't think your kid wants to see you get angry like that. Like, I've done nothing wrong. What have I done? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, the, the bus is, like, this new bus, like, I've got today is, the brakes are really sensitive. So I'm going to hope that, you know, I'm awake and I don't have to, like, suddenly break because I guarantee this bus is going to set off my green road and I'm going to be very upset. Um, so hopefully it all goes well. Hopefully I'm awake, you know. I mean, I've been on lates for, like, what, four days now, I think. Yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, so four days so far. So start to get tired by this point, but hopefully it will be all right. But, yeah, so that's about it really just gonna chillax listen to a bit of music and i'll talk to you when i get to peckham take care well, welcome back ladies and gents to peckham the final time today it's manic out there now the controller did a group call telling every bus that was going towards peckham to leave six minutes early when they get there so i'm i was meant to be due out at 13 26 now i'm due out at 13 20 because of that so, just over 10 minutes, um, so it's not too bad. My leader just left, so he's, yeah, so it's about right, yeah. It's about 10 minutes, and then we're back out. But yeah, it's manic, I mean, the traffic is all the way from New Cross uh, all the way down. So, it's absolutely manic out there now. Would have to be on the last trip where I come off. Always the way, so my dad's going to beat me home today. Because he finishes at half past, I'm meant to finish at uh, 14.23. He finishes at 14.30. So he's going to get out before me now because I am 100% not finishing on time, as usual, on the 177s. You know you know how much I love to complain about that. Part of the job, though, isn't it? Like, still getting paid, so who gives a crap, right? You know, overtime. So it is what it is. But, yeah. Uh, but nothing happened that trip. Nothing major in terms of, you know worth talking about you know typical stuff it's got a lot busier today i've seen it's been a lot busier um which is weird you know because you would have thought everyone would come out on the weekend not the weekday you know but apparently they want to come out you know on a friday afternoon i mean it is nice and sunny today and this guy better not hit me that's it um okay that's good it's a bellio driver Ooh. Yeah, hold on. I might get an accident on camera here. Ah, okay, he's alright. Just had to make sure there, because like if you if you if you come to Peckham you'd know they do like to whack it round, like they, they like to come into the bays really quick, like they put their foot on that throttle all the way down and just fly it in and I just think one day you are gonna have an accident. Maybe now. Strain up, strain up. That's it, that's it, that's it. Strain that wheel, strain that wheel. You're still coming towards me. It's really, really struggling here, he is. I don't get why. It's not hard. Just line it up. Keep the wheel straight. Boom, you're not going to hit anything. Why like, ain't that difficult? He made that out to be way harder than what it actually was. I do find that though, that a lot of drivers don't have a lot of experience when it comes to reversing. Because they do it they do it for their test and then that's probably the only time they ever reverse a vehicle. That's why I kind of like this route in the sense of you actually have to reverse a bus. So the more you reverse a bus, the more you get used to it. You know, and all the different makes and models that you drive. You get used to how they handle in terms of reversing power and stuff like that. That's what I've learned. But yeah. So, no accident, so all good there, all good. But yeah, it's manic. But yeah, so I'm probably going to be in a bad mood now when I sign off this video at the end. But I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Uh, leave a like if you have, and obviously if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Not really much to it, really. You know, you sign on, get your duty, get your bus, and then you drive all day, and then come off for your meal relief, and then drive some more, and then you come off to finish your shift, and then 
tomorrow comes and you do it all again you know that's pretty much a, the life of a bus driver on a good day but you know, on a day like today it's just going to be lots of overtime for everyone which is good you know money's money at the end of the day but yeah so I'll sign off this little pie I just want to relax and not need the toilet so I'll talk to you in a bit guys hopefully I'm not too grumpy but I'll see you then welcome back ladies and gents join me in my home um yeah I didn't go to plan at the end Came off about half hour late, but just not in the mood. <laughs> I had a row with a guy because after like the bus stop after Woolwich Arsenal, the controller rung me up and said, "Show plums the bus garage and uh, tell the next driver to run light to Thamesmead." So obviously I got to the garage, and then I started like getting all my stuff off and everything. And then just some random guy be like, mate, why have you left it there? Me bring it forward. Like, why have you parked it all the way out there? And I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just, I was so angry. I was just like, well, at the time, mate, there were buses in front of me, so don't start, you know. And he was like, who the f are you to say that? Like, who the f are you? Like, like it's not like I said anything offensive, you know. It's like, who the hell are you to like to tell me how to do my job? Go away, like I. You've got no right to tell me what to do. Plus, you can't even get on my bus anyway. Because it's like, if you look at the destination like you're meant to. Because that's one of my pet peeves. Is when people don't read the destination on the bus. It really pees me off. Because it's not like it's hard to see. Now, it's different if you've got disabilities or dyslexia and all that stuff. Like, I respect that. But when you can perfectly read, you know, there's no excuse. You know, it's different if you're, you know, you've got learning difficulties and all that kind of stuff, then that's fine. You know, but it's like, if you can see, if you can read perfectly fine, it's no excuse in my opinion. You know, I mean, at least the drivers found it funny. Like, one, I went over to one driver, was like, what was that about? And I was like, he just, he bloody minded me for where I parked the bus. It's like, I don't care. I'm half hour late coming off. I don't care. Once I step off that bus, I don't care anymore. Do you know what I mean? It's like, you're not getting on it anyway, because it's running like to Thamesmead, so, yeah, I wanted to be really sarcastic about it, and she'd be like, I'm really sorry that you're not happy with where I've parked the bus, if you feel so strongly, please, you're more than welcome, you know, to make a formal complaint with my superiors, I really wanted to say that, just to wind him up, because I was thinking, you're gonna, if you're going to, like, you know, ask stupid questions, I'll give you a stupid answer, see how you like it, do you know what I mean, that's the public for you. You know, just they wind, they love to wind you up. But apart from that, the trip was alright. Apart from, well, actually, no, I say that. I had an ear close call because we um, got to Royal Hill and there's a load of roadworks at Royal Hill. So we got to the traffic lights, you know, and I need to get in the right hand lane to go round to Carty Sark to then turn left onto Trafalgar Road. So obviously, I've made it through, and then this courier like van has just come zooming past me, almost hit me, just to get in front of me. I was on that horn for so long, you know, I was cursing and everything. I just think, who the hell are you to, like, push in like that? I tell you, though, couriers and Ubers are probably, like, one of the two worst combinations. Like, I'm sorry if you're an Uber driver, but I don't like Ubers. They don't know how to drive to save their lives. You know, that's what I, what I was saying in my training video was, you know, there's they have their own category. You have good drivers, bad drivers, and Uber drivers. Like, that's how terrible most of the Uber drivers are. You know, but these courier guys, they're just like... Like, he's in a little van. He's not like a little moped or anything. Like, he's in a van. Like, you know, he could have hit me. Obviously, it wouldn't be my fault. I've done nothing wrong, so I wouldn't get in trouble for it. I kind of wish he did hit me. Because then, I'd just be like, well, there you go. You know, your luck's run out. Pay the consequences. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, apart from those two inc incidents, um, it was alright. It wasn't a bad trip back. But yeah, uh, sorry I've like taken so long to like do this final part. But I was too angry to like you know sit down and make a video. I've calmed down now. So yeah. But anyway, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a like if you did. Please subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.